Hey everybody, so I decided to do triggerfish as my next Christmas Island video. I'm debating whether or not to do bonefish. If you guys want to see a bonefish video, just leave a comment. If not, this might be my last Christmas Island video. So if you remember from part one, triggerfish are really, really spooky. And this is probably a good example of most of my triggerfish encounters. You either spook them on the cast or on the strip and they just see something weird and they make a mad dash. You see a black mass just going off in the other direction. So this clip I think was on day two and I was on my own and I saw a triggerfish feeding probably 30-40 feet away. And I don't know if you can see it but you can see a black mass actually go straight towards my fly and I could tell that it stopped my fly so I set the hook and bam, first hook up of the trip. And this is where I learned uh, hooking the triggerfish is actually the first part of the problem. Um, bringing him in was actually quite a challenge. So on this one, you'll see that it actually uh, either bit my line off or took me to some coral and it just broke off. This one was actually pretty cool. I saw it feeding and got my line ready and made the right cast. And I saw it go straight for it and it went right over that deep edge. And fortunately the clip cut off, but right after it just came on button. No line breaking or anything, just lost it. This might actually have been the fish of the trip for me because here you can see the little black mass just swing away from my fly. So I made one desperate cast in its direction, which usually just spooks it. But in this case, it turned right around and took my fly. Got a game. <laughs> even the guide was shocked. But what made it Unreal? even crazier was my partner, which was probably like 100 feet away from me. He actually hooked on a trigger fish as well, so we doubled up on trigger fish. According to the guide, he's never seen that before. What you got? You got trigger? You doubled up, I got trigger too. Reel in your line, he said. So this is where it got kind of funny because um, we were all scared of triggerfish at that point because the day before, one of the other guys on the trip actually had a triggerfish clamp onto his finger and not let go, so it looked pretty gnarly. At this point, none of us wanted to handle it, which was probably an overreaction, but we just didn't want to get our fingers bitten off. So luckily he had no hole to go into or any ledge to fall over so I was able to bring him in but I look over and see my guide basically taking pictures with my partner and I was like uh what should I do with this fish eventually I just picked him up by the tail and uh walked over to them to get my picture So if you look at the hook picture that's about to pop up, I can't tell if the fish did that or uh, if my guy did that removing the hook, but usually after a trigger fish, it seems like uh, the hook was pretty much done. Here you can see them feeding, and this is what we were looking for. Like seeing trigger fish wasn't that hard because you would see either their tail flap up like that while they're feeding or just a big yellow blob from a distance. So 
this video was kind of funny. That's, a, that's uh, not a trigger. My partner though. was standing there watching this while, trigger. and we all thought the trigger took my fly, but it didn't move for the first second, and then it just suddenly went off in a different direction than my line. Yeah. <laughs> it ended up being a bonefish that was uh, following the trigger. I was like, that trigger's still there in my, my line. Like it was fairly common that there was some yeah. other fish that was following. If you remember from my first video, a GT was following, and then in this video here now, um, it was a bluefin trevally that was following it. It got kind of annoying because you're trying to target a trigger fish, fall. and then suddenly uh, something would come and happen. take it and spook the trigger. So. Oh, it's a, it's not a bone, it's a tr bluefin, I think. I mean, he's probably following. <laughs> So this trigger was actually one of the most epic battles I had on the trip because I literally spent uh, the first, I don't know, six minutes of this video casting and drifting by it. And you'll see an arrow pop up showing where the current's going and this was toward the end of the trip and I finally learned how to cast toward the trigger. Like you don't need to cast directly at it. You can let the current bring in the fly to it and you spooked it a lot less that way. But this one I made, I counted I think 10 good drifts by it and it just didn't budge. It wasn't getting spooked, it just wasn't interested. And um, I finally decided to make the decision to just change flies. It's a risk to change flies just because it could just swim off another direction, but this guy looked like he was planted in that spot. But that being said, when I changed flies, it actually did start swimming, which gave me a little scare, but it stopped maybe 10 feet away. And this was the first cast after I changed flies. And you can see that black spot like start moving towards my fly and you'll see the tail come up, which is when I set the hook. So you can see me try extra hard to set up just because I had lost a bunch of fish before this one. Oh, sorry about the camera angle here. I think my camera moved when I was changing flies and I didn't notice till yeah. mid-flight. Is he done or? My guide was actually kind of nervous to grab the fish just because he had lost his hook remover, hook remover uh, while we were waiting in deeper water. Yeah. I actually gave him my uh, pliers to use to get the hook out. Awesome. Is this a so this is actually the second kind of trigger fish you can catch on Christmas Island and it ended up being the last fish I caught on the trip. Not gonna lie, if I was gonna pick one last fish to catch it would probably be this one outside of a giant GT of course. So let me know again if you want to see a bonefish video, otherwise it'll probably be my next trout trip wherever I go. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.